I was trying to tell him that he arrested Miss Jones on her third arrest that it might not be in the best interest of the tax court site because of the uh, ongoing lawsuit she had. That if, you know, I asked him if he was trying to give her and her attorney a field day in court. And I guess my advice to him was taken as uh, interfering in his police operations, and that's what I was charged with. Kind of like when she was there in Citizens Communications trying to politely talk, and the police chief came up and started arresting her, and you're the mayor. You say, it's Citizens Communication, and he just said, no, and took her out. I mean, and so now you, the mayor, well, I guess they're saying you're not the mayor, even though they don't have the authority. They're saying you're not the mayor, and by the way, you're criminally charged. Well, that's, that's, and, and, and so who is this judge? Like I said, we now have, we, we now, I've been saying it for years that this is, you know, selective enforcement of any law in town, but now we have sworn testimony to that effect. We have an officer's sworn testimony, and since then I've had a couple of citizens come forth and say, well, you know, Councilman so-and-so told me the same thing, you know. So I, I, I have multiple witnesses willing to testify that this council is using police force to enforce their political agenda on the community. And by the way, I, folks are saying, why are people getting arrested and facing 90 days in jail for a garden? Why, why are people not allowed to have citizens' communication? Why is government so openly corrupt? They want you to know. That's why the state government is going to fully back them, Mayor, because they like this idea of a police chief. In fact, they're trying to do this in many areas, just get rid of government altogether and have a town administrator that, that works for the bankers. And we can all just be sharecroppers to them, and they can raise taxes, and we can't see it. America is going into foreign banking receivership, Mayor. And this is a good message for America, that, you know, the police chief says a mayor goes, he goes. So, I mean, you know, this is the new freedom, sir. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not the freedom I served my country for. And as a Marine, I'm not going to let it exist. I'm after I'm on the job right now. Now, now, they don't even let you in the city council building, correct now? I mean, no, I no, no. Uh, what they're doing is, as a result of the one meeting where they locked the doors and took away people's right to speak and took away the, my, they took, gave ordered martial law or whatever they did it, behind locked doors. That's an illegal meeting and cannot prevail. I've asked the attorney general to declare that meeting illegal. And any action taken behind locked doors to be also declared null and void then. And if that were so, then they can't, our, our meetings are scheduled for the second and fourth Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Here lately, since they had that secret meeting, they've been scheduling them whenever they want. They change the time around. They don't notify me, I, but I hear, go up. I set up on the DS, wrap the gavel, declare the meeting illegal, and say it's canceled, and walk away. Of course, they go ahead and have another illegal meeting, which at an illegal meeting, the business of the town cannot you know, they okay checks, they okay uh, orders. Incredible. Uh, uh, change, mayor, mayor, in closing, Ma mayor, in closing, we, we, everybody should pray for you and support you. I'm tempted to fly out there and, and see this for myself. But in closing, you're saying violence is going to happen. Are, are you saying that the uh, emperor's people might get violent? Well, they're unstable. They're, they're acting irrational, and irrational people do irrational things. And they, you can't trust them right now. I, in fact... I went to this pastor last night and asked him to speak to this gentleman. You know, I tell you what, I got to get to Andre James, Brad, and Bill in the military. But Mayor, come right back and tell us about the guy they chased with the camera. Sheriff Richard Max can be with us at the eight after. I'm going to get to Adrian, James, Brad, and Bill ahead of Sheriff Mack coming in to talk about the militarization of police court site. Um, fast and furious, White House completely caught running the whole thing to blame the Second Amendment. I mean, this is big, but hey, they're the government, so they're allowed to. See, that's the essence of tyranny. And I remember reading about a uh, day into Katrina, it turns out Blackwater reportedly, the mayor's now talked about it, came in and said, we're under, com you know, we're in command. And the mayor said, get out of here, and they left. But it's that attempt. And that's what tyrants do. They always attempt it's kind of like a parrot will test a um, branch with their beak to see if they can get on it. And if you bend over, over and over again, it'll get worse and worse and worse. And then government will engage in corruption. And then when you try to take the government back, they can't let you back in. Because if, if real government is to take over again, they're going to find all the stealing. And then people are going to you know, go to jail. 
So that's what tyranny is. I want to go to Adrian here in a moment, but finishing up with the uh, mayor of Quartzsite, fired by the police chief and council, though they can't do that. Everybody knows that. Uh, you've got the police, the majority of them, uh, you know, going public. So then they're put on leave. And I saw it in the news. They said in the council, yes, you're not allowed to leave your houses. Uh, and they're now chasing camera people when the attorney general asked him. Uh, briefly, Mayor, tell folks about that. Now, from the attorney general's office, when we complained about the fact that the council was meeting at one of the councilmen's restaurants, you know, and they said, well, you got to send us proof. So this gentleman went to the restaurant, stood on the public sidewalk out front, was photographing license plates. And he was chased from that scene by the chief of police, and he sought sanctuary at his church, and he is a leading member of that church. Uh, he's not some wild high radical or anything. He's just upset the town government. Look at you having to make excuses north. for somebody to videotape a, a, right. a diner. I mean, this is what America's come to, and... That's the essence of tyranny is when cops beat people up and arrest them for videotaping them. And it's happening more and more. This, this, and they're hiring people that think this is fun. Uh, so where they're do you not go? not only hiring people that think it's fun. They're hiring people that will do it and then giving them orders to do that. That's what this council has done. And then if they the mayor says this isn't a good idea. And go do it. And then when the mayor says don't arrest that woman for speaking at Citizens Communication, they turn around and charge you. Uh-huh. I've been charged with lots of crimes. Uh, let's see, I was charged with felony harassment. I was charged with false reporting. I run a newspaper and reported a problem with public drinking water. Of course, I, they raised hell with that. Had me. Uh, they tried to try to charge me. The county attorney refused to do that one. Uh, when I got elected, they tried to come up with a, uh, a, uh, ele a election fraud charge. Again, the county attorney said no to that one. And, and on this recent one, the charges interfering in police operations, the two counts of d disorderly conduct. Uh, the uh, county attorney told him he'd read, the, told me he'd read the reports, of not guilty of a crime. So rather than charge me with a felony that he had to pursue, they did it as a misdemeanor. So yeah. the what about what about Fox News? Was, Is it true that well, I saw it last night? Fox News reported. Well, I think you were on there. Fox News reported that. They have ordered the eight uh, police that they've put on leave to not leave their homes? Yes, they're under house arrest <laughs> from 8 a.m. till noon and from 1 p.m. to 5. And then they're being called in and being interviewed right now during the day. Uh, occasionally, they're, they're called in. The one lady who was the, the clerk in the office, uh, she didn't, because she's not a sworn officer, she did not have the same protection that the uh, officers had. So they summarily fired her. Uh, fortunately for her and her family, the county attorney's office had a uh, lady that out on medical leave, and the county attorney stepped up and gave her a job. So she, her family at least got... All right, we'll him. continue to watch this, Mayor, and be careful. Boss no, Hogg, I'm, boss... I, I'll tell you what, if they get me, I think I deserve more than 75 for <laughs>